What's going on guys? Welcome to the state of VR. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Facebook Horizon, laying out some information and giving you guys my opinion on various aspects of the game as it's built right now. There have been a lot more people getting access to the invite only beta, but there are still quite a few people who haven't gotten to check out this social VR app. So I figured this would be a good video to put out to everybody so you can all get a good grasp on what Horizons has to offer. I'll be discussing what I like about the game and what I dislike about the game. And I'll also be talking about what I think Horizons needs to become for users to look at this as a worthwhile social experience, to jump in and out of daily, and to ultimately use it as their main social hub. All right, let's get started. Starting off, you are first introduced into Horizons, sort of similar to how you are introduced into the Oculus Venue Early Access Beta, where you are given the chance to edit your character, log into your Facebook account, and then given more information in general on how your wrist menu works, from the safe space mode, to your settings, to being able to jump into the different worlds made by Horizon developers and those made by other players. FYI, my character was carried over from the one I edited in the Oculus Venue's Early Access Beta, and I did find that to be a pretty convenient yet subtle aspect to the game. A lot of the features of this app seem very similar to things found in Altspace, Rec Room, and VRChat. It definitely seems as though they handpick different things used in each particular game and put them to use in their own way in this one. They definitely looked at all the other social hubs and tried to find where they succeeded and where they just straight up fell off a cliff. Not having kids screaming in your face is pretty damn nice, and just the general atmosphere socially between players feels kinda how it would in real life. I think the realism of the avatars definitely plays into it, not the realism and how they look graphically, because I know they pretty much look like Disney characters, but the realism represented in hand gestures, facial expressions, and eye movements. There's a sort of real feeling of consequence for your actions, not really felt in any other social VR game, until this one, at least for myself. It feels more personal with a greater feeling of presence, if that makes sense. Which it probably doesn't because, you know, it's still supposed to be just a game. The final feature I liked about this game, which is something also found in other social VR games, is the fact that you can build your own worlds practically. I didn't really get into building myself, but I did get to check out other people's worlds, and I was frankly impressed by how much creativity and freedom you have in creating unique experiences for games and exploration with others. Moving on to everything I dislike about the game, first off, I think even though the avatars work visually in so many ways when creating that feeling of presence, they do look way simplistic right now, and I think that's just a consequence of having this social VR game running on the Quest being a mobile VR headset. I'm personally okay with how the avatars look right now, and hopefully through software updates, especially with the next rumored quest to be possibly talked about at Facebook Connect. Yeah, I know. Hopefully it will be a little more powerful and able to run deeper game experiences overall, like Boneworks and even something close to Asgard's Wrath and Stormland. I think my main gripe with the app right now is that I don't see anything really allowing players to party up and go direct into games on the Oculus Quest natively, which I think are the real experiences people for the most part want to play, not some of the half-baked games and escape rooms made directly on the Horizon app. Overall, I think it's a solid app right now for Oculus slash Facebook to build off of, and hopefully they listen to community suggestions when it comes to linking Horizon to other apps that people love to play. It's a very compelling social hub and it has a lot of potential, but I think that's where its appeal ends right now. Facebook needs to make this more of an experience people immediately want to jump into and from there branch into the native games and experiences on the Oculus Store. Not lean too much into the games built into the app right now because I think for the most part, that will always be limited in some way. It's definitely a step up as it is right now as a social hub, but hopefully Facebook improves upon it. What do you guys think of Facebook Horizon so far? Have you gotten the chance to try it out or are you still waiting on the sidelines? All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Let's Talks, the latest gameplay, and game reviews. Peace out, VR dudes and dudettes.